the purpose of the interaction is not to win the girl over. It's not to make her like you. It's not to earn points. You just assume you got the girl and then everything kind of flows from that mindset. What's up guys, John and Anthony here from John Anthony Lifestyle. A couple days ago I put out a video about stop being fancy, gimmicky, gamey, etc. Okay, and guys are saying, okay, well then how do I open? What should I say on the open? Okay, I have a go-to opener that I've been using for the past decade that I teach all my students to use. It's actually very funny because it's, it's simple, direct, straightforward. I'll get to it in a second. But I had lots of guys, like I lived in San Diego for a year and a half. I had lots of students there that were starting to use this opener. And girls, it was like burning the opener, even though it's just like a simple, straightforward opener. Um, I would walk up to girls in the club and they'd be like, three other guys said that to me already tonight, like blah, blah, blah. I don't know what you guys are doing. So anyways, before we continue, if you would like to get on the phone with us, there's a free 30 minutes consultation link in the bottom. Okay, we can diagnose where you're at in the game, tell you how we can help you and get you to where you want to be in as fast a time as possible. Okay, you'll talk to either me or one of my coaches. 30 minutes, okay, free, no obligation. Link is in the description. And as always, subscribe if you have not already subscribed. So here's my opener, okay, drum roll. I say, hi, can I meet you real quick? That's it, okay? Hi, can I meet you real quick? If you want to like dissect the structure of that, Basically, it falls under the category of being direct. Okay, I'm not saying, hey, uh, you look like you're a Sarah. Hey, remember the cold read shit that I was talking about in a video a couple days ago? You look like a Sarah. You look like, you look like you're from Georgia. You look like this. That's really, very cheesy. Okay, then you have all the indirect stuff where you say, hey, I need directions to so-and-so. Can you tell me where, where this and that is? And the girl's like, wow, this guy's too much of a pussy to show that he's interested, so he's going to ask me for directions somewhere. And the, the list goes on and on and on. There's problems with most openers. Okay, so I just say hi. Can I meet you real quick? Or hi, I wanted to meet you real quick. The real quick part is old school, like false time constraint. Okay, it makes it easier for a girl to get involved in the conversation if you're just saying real quick. Okay, I just want to talk to you real quick just for a second. Because then it's like, okay, this isn't going to take very long. Every part of my game is just baby step in compliance, getting a little bit extra. Okay, so when you say, hey, I just want to meet you real quick, it's real quick and it's direct. I wanted to meet you. And then I usually follow up with, I'm John, what's your name? And I shake her hand. So I walk straight in. Hey, can I meet you real quick? I'm John, what's your name? This is what I've been doing for 10 years. It's not simple, it's not fancy, it's not gamey, but it works very well. Okay, it's direct. It shows I'm interested in wanting to talk to her. And I'm saying real quick, and it's showing that I'm not going to make this long conversation. So that's it. And then from there, okay, I'm not going to make this video about going into the rest of the interaction and stuff like that or the plan or anything like that but I will recap on strong things that you do when you open okay you should have direct eye contact you shouldn't be shifting your eyes all around or looking down at the floor or something like that you should square up your body language okay so your shoulders are back your chest is out not like you're, you're walking around like a, a lion or something trying to be alpha but you're just standing up straight confidently you're speaking loud enough especially at nightclubs I always tell students I'll put music on really loud okay when we're doing the pre-brief beforehand and I'll say try to talk to me over this music if I can't hear them I tell them to speak louder speak louder speak louder most people are not speaking loud enough you almost have to be yelling when you're in a nightclub when there's loud music and the, and the litmus test for that is if the girl is ever saying like what or she can't hear you or can't understand you or whatever you're not being loud enough or you're not speaking clearly enough it's usually not being loud enough okay so make sure you're being loud enough in a club environment during the daytime you don't need to shout Okay, if you meet a girl, make sure you're speaking with downward inflection. So the three differences are upward inflection, kind of flat and downward, which is commanding. Okay, the the people pleasing kind of appeasement inflection where it's raising intonation, you'd say, hi, can I meet you real quick? I'm John, right? Versus flat robotic. Hi, can I meet you real quick? I'm John. There's no emotion. It's emotionally flat. And then the way you should be doing it is downward inflection. Hi, can I meet you real quick? My name's John, right? It's commanding, it's succinct. Okay, so to recap, look them in the eyes. Have squared up body language, okay? Speak with downward inflection, speak loud enough, and also smile, okay? And use body language and facial expression, okay? So when you're talking to the girl, you should be smiling, not the whole time, okay? But you're, you're making different facial expressions that convey emotion. You're talking with your hands, this and that. Sometimes I see students in the clubs or during day game interactions, even if they have those other things down pat, they're in there kind of just like 
frozen. Like, like they're not moving their body. They're not moving their face. They're like, yeah, uh, I was just looking for blah, blah, blah. And I'm doing it. And it just looks fucking weird. Okay. No one talks like that. And the guy's like trying not to like move too much so that he doesn't fuck up. Remember your mindset should be that you already got the girl before you even go in. Okay. The purpose of the interaction is not to win the girl over. It's not to make her like you. It's not to earn points. You just assume you got the girl and then everything kind of flows from that mindset. Okay. Cause if you're not confident in your own value or your ability to get this girl, then she's not going to buy into it either. Okay. So cut out the fancy gamey shit. Stop saying dumb stuff when you open. Okay. You're, you're totally <laughs> more than welcome to just use mine. Hi, can I meet you real quick? Hey, I'm John. I wanted to meet you. Those are like the little variations or, um, I wanted to meet you. What's your name? Right? That's it. It's very, very simple, very straightforward. Okay. And then this works. Okay. There's over a thousand girls have been using this opener and just, that's it. Don't overcomplicate it. All right. Make sure you're doing those other pieces of opening. If you want to peel back the layers even further, know exactly what to do, exactly what to say to move the interaction forward, exactly how to get her phone number, exactly how to set up the date, exactly how to run the date, exactly how to close the date and exactly how to retain the girl and do this many, many times in quick succession. So that you have a bunch of attractive girls to choose from and your schedule is actually packed out with attractive girls that are all wanting to be with you. Sign up for a free 30 minute consultation call. Link is in the description. You'll get on the phone with me or one of my coaches. We'll go over your weak spots, how we can help you. Okay. We, we diagnose where you're at and what we can do for you. Okay. Hope this was helpful. Again, stop being fancy, gamey, etc. You don't need to say that stuff during the rest of the interaction either. You don't need to say it over text message. Okay. Keep things straightforward. A cool alpha guy does not need to be a fucking clown. Okay. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you on the next video. Take care. Some do it for the income, but we do it for the outcome. Some of us are active while others just let their mouth run. No doubt, son, this is not just about fun. We will not be outdone by these cowards who shout scum.